What's up guys, I am Redemption Gabe and today's video I will be teaching you on how to import models into Roblox using Wings 3D. <laughs> now if you ever watched my previous tutorial I made a few months ago on how to um, make 3D models using Wings 3D, now uh, please check that tutorial out as it gives you an idea how to use Wings 3D <laughs> into Roblox and this will be one of the few videos one of the first ones on YouTube on how to do this into Wings 3D and how to put it into Roblox. Now, the reason for that because there is hardly any Wings 3D tutorials and documentation onto this thing, so that is the reason why I am doing this straight off for you guys. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is you're gonna open up the internet browser and then you're gonna go into a website called Turbo Squid. Now, while Turbo Squid tries to load, this is the website. I will leave a link in the description. Now, there's some models you would have to pay. So, um, for this example on this video, I will be using a low poly wooden table. Uh, you, you can use an OBJ file, which is just some, which is one of the files that Roblox Studio is gonna only gonna read. So I'll use a I'll use a table for example. You get a file like this. So when you get the file. It look like this. Now on to Wings 3D. Now this is something I was working on before. <coughs> in file new. <coughs> so to file import, and we're gonna do um wavefront obj, and we're gonna go to desktop or whatever your file is. Now if you don't see the file, we have to extract it. So if it's a raw file like the one you see, you will need 7-zip or something like that to extract the file. 7-zip will be available in the link in description. So I'll link these to the appropriate websites where you can be able to get these files, to get the proper extraction programs. So when you look at this, you're going to see a desk pretty much. and. What you want to do is you want to scale this and unfortunately it doesn't come in any other um, form of geometry grab so it doesn't come in, in another um, geometry grab but this gets pretty annoying over time. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to, we're not going to save and the individual so this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna do this hole which is i think it's gonna be way better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale the uniform axis this whole thing move it to the y axis and make sure you're right clicking on this in order to take advantage of wing street it's pretty easy to use <laughs> i've used this for a long time when i was a kid so that's such you know <laughs> so File, um, export. This is like a simple tip that we got from <coughs> that we just got from Turbo Squid. So, so file export. This is something you can, you can also make yourself. Make something yourself. If you don't know about it. So we're gonna click file <coughs> export. Um, gonna type. Make you click the wavefront option because it's the only file that. Studio only supports and reads. But we're gonna type in um, table. By the way, um, <laughs> you got these from Turbo Squid. Um, don't say it's your table because um, because you didn't actually make those meshes. So do not re-upload it claiming it's yours. So. I'm just doing that for the sake of your of this tutorial and how 
re how to import models. We're gonna if we're gonna also re-upload matches that you that requires payment. Um, don't re-upload them to Roblox because some sometimes they can, they can copy they can the Roblox lawyers will get will go after you. So that's a word of advice I want to tell you. So other than that, let's get let's go back. So we're gonna type in by right clicking. Um, okay, so we wanna right click insert objects. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, right click insert object. Um. We want to do mesh part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the mesh part, we're gonna go to mesh ID. And on to mesh ID, we're gonna see our table that we just saved into wings. 3D. So your mesh contains location data. If you would like to move your mesh to a given location, you can. Or you can. Um, for that, you can do yes. But for that, okay, no. It would. It would do the same process. And there you go. You officially have a table that you can use and play around with like i just said um if you want to play with this i would brown like the color and you can do blanks and there you go you officially have a table in roblox too and i'm also working on this car that i'm importing into the studio so if you did like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this video, thumbs down if you don't like it. And peace out. It was also done in Wings 3D like I'm working on right now. So, do you like it? Like I just said, thumbs up. Do not like it. Thumbs down and comment what you think. And peace out.